All right, so Joel and I were planning on fishing this morning, but unfortunately, the wind was blowing like 900 miles an hour. It was absolutely terrible. It was like a hurricane to come through. So we decided to punt on that. And we've come out to our friendly neighborhood, leaf infested pool. to do a pool test that we've really been wanting to do for a while, and that's testing jerk baits. This winter taught me more than any other how big a variance there are in jerk baits. I mean, some work when others just don't, and maybe those reasons won't be clear to us today, but I'm thinking they might be. I'm just very curious to see how these baits look underwater. I'm gonna be scoring them on a couple of aspects. One, I'm gonna call jerkiness. It's just how the bait looks when it's twitched, when it pauses, how much action does it have when you twitch it? Kind of that slow jerk jerk pause that we all like to fish. But also there are times when you get bites when you're just cranking that thing, working it almost like a crankbait. So I'm gonna do that as well. I'm gonna run it past the camera, Joel's gonna follow alongside of it, and we're gonna see how the various baits look when they're retrieved. All right, we got eight baits lined up for today. Now listen, I'll say this like I say every time, trust me, there are baits in your tackle box that we're not including here. This is not an exhaustive list of jerk baits. These are just some of the ones that are most popular here in South Louisiana that we tend to use more than any others. All right, let's see what we got. All right, as you notice, some of these are in packages, some of them are not. These three I got out of my tackle box. These five I went and bought. All right, first up is the Lucky Strike RC STX. Next to that is the Rapala X-Rap. Then the Miralore Mira Lip. Then the H2O Express Ultimate Jerk Shad. Then we've got the Strike King 200 KVD Jerk Bait. Then we got one that's been popular forever and that's the Rattlin' Rogue. Then we got the Rapala Rip Stop. And then finally is the Rapala Shadow Wrap. All right, jerkbait season, we're kind of in the heart of it now. These baits catch speckled trout, bass, redfish throughout the spring. I mean, they're really, really good baits. Very popular, very productive. So I can't wait to see what we find out from this pool test. All right, I'll show you our camera setup for today. I've got my trusty traffic cone with a GoPro mounted on it using a strap, kind of janky. And then we've also got our trusty rake of previous pool video fame. There's our rake. Got the GoPro on the end. That's what Joel will be chasing these baits with. Right now he's practicing. Checking them out. All right, I'm eager to get started. Let's see how these baits look. All right, so look, I'm fishing all these baits on a seven foot three inch Fitzgerald medium power rod. It's loaded with 12 pound mono. That's pretty much what I'd fish with in real world application. So let's see how they look. First off is the Lucky Strike RC STX. All right, what strikes me most about this bait is the incredible sound. It's really got some great sound to it. It's also tail weighted, so it kind of springs back between each twitch. And in my opinion, that's very important for getting strikes. Now I've got to tell you, none of the baits look really good on the straight retrieve, but this one I think is particularly bad. It just doesn't look good unless you're twitching the bait. This episode of Marshman Masson brought to you by Puglia Sporting Goods. All right, so next up is a bait I fish a whole lot, a Rapala X-Rap. Very productive here in South Louisiana. Let's see how it looks. All right, this bait was more erratic than the previous one, and it also tended to spring back between twitches. But as you can hear, it's got a lot less sound.
and this bait had a good wobble on a straight retrieve. Alright, next up is the Miralore Miralip, another bait I really, really like. I fish this thing all the time. It's very productive. Hopefully it looks as good as that X-Rap just looked, or at least to me above water. Okay, I gotta tell you, I caught a lot of speckled trout on this bait this winter. And I see why. It also springs back really well between twitches. And it has just the right amount of sound. And it's really got a better than average wobble on the straight retrieve. All right, next up is the H2O Express Ultimate Jerk Shad. Now, a lot of the H2O Express products are really inexpensive, and this one's certainly cheaper than most jerk baits, but it ain't all that cheap. It really is a good looking bait out of the package. Let's see how it looks underwater. All right, I have to say, this bait is pretty impressive. It's really erratic in the water, looking almost like a fluke. But unfortunately, it doesn't spring back between the twitches. But it looks really great on the straight retrieve. All right, so next up is the Strike King KVD 200. Not an inexpensive bait, but I know that this bait is very productive. One of my buddies, this is his favorite bait. Let's see how it looks. All right, this bait is really erratic, looking really similar to the previous bait. And just like the previous bait, it doesn't really spring back between twitches but it's got outstanding sound. On the street retrieve, eh, it just looks okay. This episode of Marshman Masson brought to you by Magnolia Vodka, and by Fitzgerald Fishing, and by Cito New Orleans, and by Versamax Quartz, and by Death Grip Jig Heads. All right, this is a classic. It's a Smithwick Rattling Rogue. I know the hooks are good because it just hooked one of Joel's fingers. <laughs> but these have been fished forever and they produce a whole lot of fish. I'm curious to see if it looks as good as some of these newer baits. All right, this bait is not erratic at all. It basically just presents the same motion over and over again. It does, however, have a decent spring back. On the straight retrieve though, this bait looks fantastic. Alright, next up is the Rapala Ripstop. 
This is a smaller bait and it's definitely unique. It's got kind of a little lip on the tail here, which I'm guessing is gonna make it dive a little bit more, but I'm curious to see how it looks. All right, I'm really impressed. This bait is erratic and it springs back. Wow, that looks great. It also looks far better than most on a straight retrieve. All right, next up is a bait I'm really curious to see, and that's the Rapala Shadow Wrap. This bait isn't very old. It's only been out maybe two or three years, but I know it looks really good in the water. I've seen it from above the water surface, and this thing could do some magic tricks. Let's see if it looks that good from under the water surface. All right, I thought this bait would be my favorite. And although it looks better than some, It's got very little spring back. Also, I'd like it to be a little bit noisier. It looks pretty good on a straight retrieve, however. All right, we got a bonus jerk bait. This is the Matrix Minnow. Now, I didn't include this in my test because they're a sponsor of mine, so I can't really grade them objectively, but I'm gonna let you see how this bait looks underwater. I can tell you I've caught a lot of fish on this bait, so I like it. I am a little biased, but I'm not gonna grade it. All right, for a smaller bait, the Matrix Minnow definitely makes a lot of racket. It doesn't really spring back but it's really erratic. And it's definitely got some shimmy on the straight retrieve. All right, hopefully you got as much out of watching that pool video as I did shooting it. They're always so enlightening. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marsh Bad Massa.